Hi there, this is Barbara, and today I am drawing a pet wire fox terrier, Hannah. And I thought I'd take a minute to uh, demonstrate a little bit of how we go about getting a salon finish on the dog's coat. In other words, when it comes at home from the dog groomer, the coat is all plush and even and straight. And when you do it at home, it gets curly and lumpy and what the heck is going on here? So I thought I'd show you how we go about getting that nice, fine, straight, plush coat um, on our terriers at the grooming salon. So I'm going to uh, talk with the microphone on and then cut the microphone off and dry a little while and kind of go back and forth. So the first thing that I'm going to point out to you is that what I've done already on Hannah is that I've rough, I've dried, I've toweled, and I've kind of uh, sprayed off all the rough stuff, no it's not stuff, it's water, sprayed off all the excess water that will kind of spray with the force dryer. So that leaves me a partially dry, now maybe maybe a little more than 50% dry coat, and now I get more serious and I slow down and I do area by area, getting it perfectly straight. And um, you'll notice that I start at the rear end and go forward and that before I do the outside of this leg that's on my side, I'm going to do the inside of the opposite leg so that when the air blows on past this part that I'm going to dry next, it will blow on already straightened hair. If you blow, if your dryer starts to dry hair that's not straight yet without uh, it being done the right way, it's likely to be curly and then less perfect when you go to scissor finish it. Or if you don't scissor finish it, it'll just be less perfect. We're just kind of giving you some tips for getting a better result, okay? Um, here we go. I'm gonna turn the microphone off if I can find it. Well. Maybe I can't find it. Oh, damn, I hate it when I go this way. Oh, it's that. Okay, I can't find how to turn the microphone off. So, I'm just going to go ahead and you'll hear the blow dryer. Too bad, sorry. I tried. I need to watch tips for videotaping with your iPhone. Eh, maybe later. Moderate force. That this is half force, I hate this is gonna be right. another point. So you notice that I'm drying the tail in the direction I want the hair to lie. So I'm not, I'm not blowing against the grain. I'm blowing with the way the hair grows so the, so the tail will be uh, nice because if you blow it against the tail just gets big and fluffy and then you have a hard time getting it to look like you want to. Now another really key point is to get a successful um, straight coat on a coat that's a little bit on the curly side, you want to make sure that you get it dry from the skin out. So let's, I'm going to show you on an area on this side where you can see, and we're going to kind of, you're going to kind of look for how the coat looks at the skin. If you look at this coat, see how it's kind of curly and it's kind of like in little in little, it's kind of clumped together in little, tiny little curls, little, uh, 
you know so we want to separate all that hair and we want to get each hair straight and we're not going to leave an area until we get it straight from the skin out all the little i call it wormy things but we just want to get every little bit of it straight so let's um i'm going to try to move the dog closer to the camera well and then i have to adjust the camera okay there Okay, I got another trick. I can raise the table just a speck. We'll move the dog into the camera. Hey, I can do that. How's that? <laughs> oh, man. I always feel so successful when I solve a problem. Okay, I'm still in the picture, and you got more of the dog. It's just like not quite as comfortable. I'll be re having to reach up, but so what? Uh, it's a video. Okay, here we go. You're gonna watch, you're gonna watch the hair get straight. Did you ever think you'd be sitting there watching a video of dog Brian? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to 
Excuse this rough spot, but I'm going to take the uh, the iPhone out of the holder and I'm going to hold it up real close to the skin so that you can actually see that because I realize you're not really getting it. How am I going to do this? Now here's the camera. This is an experiment. Bear with me. Slightly one way or the other, you get new hair that aren't dry yet. When they're dry, they don't stick to the skin. Oh, look at that, it's getting dry. You see that?